Hey guys, Gibra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to War Thunder. In today's video, we are checking out the War Thunder test server because uh, we're going to check out what's coming up in update 1.97. We already had a Swedish aircraft tech tree, but now the Swedish ground forces will be added. But I'll talk about those in a separate video. I'm just going to talk about all the other vehicles coming in update 1.97 in War Thunder. Now, starting off with the Americans, the Americans are not getting any ground vehicles well if you call ship a ground vehicle then technically yes but we're getting a new phantom 2 jet now this is a phantom 4e now the americans already had the f4c but now they're getting an f4e variant as well and they're pretty similar the only big difference that you can notice right away is that the f4e starts off with a cannon as uh, by default you don't need extra gun pods for extra cannons i have extra gun pods right now because i wanted to show you guys because the ones in the back aim a little bit downwards and the one in the front is aiming straight so aiming these might be a little bit tricky but other than that you got a ton of options just like the other one uh, for your secondary armament you got rockets missiles air to air rockets air to ground even yep all pops freaking huge ball pops but yeah, let's move on to the second vehicle. Should be fun. Next up, we have the A4B, which is a very interesting aircraft. Unfortunately, it's not supersonic, still subsonic, but it moves pretty fun, especially if you have uh, extra gun pods. Should be fun air to air uh, dogfighting vehicle. Uh, this thing can carry a lot of armaments, though, surprisingly. It is a naval vehicle, so naval vehicles are known to have a lot of secondary armament options. You can have uh, three extra cannons, three extra 20 mils. Now it looks like it has four barrels, but it's just one, just this one over here. Sorry about that. Uh, yep, oh, no sunlight here. Yeah, just this one barrel. I'm not sure what the other four holes are, but yeah, now we get five 20 millimeters, which is very nice when you try to shoot down an aircraft. Other than that, it has a uh, pretty nice loadout, 2,000 kilogram bomb. You even got ball pops here, seriously. Huh, interesting. That's cool. Three ball pops. Uh, let's see what else you got. You got Zunis. Ooh, nice. You got Mighty Mouse, Bombs, Air to Air Missile, Aim 9Bs. And yeah, Aim 9Bs. Pretty fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is insane. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's check out the repair costs real quick because some of these new aircraft have some insane repair costs. Let's check out the Phantom, which is ah oh, pretty cheap compared to the other one that I saw. This one's a little bit more expensive, but uh, yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle. All right, next up, the Americans are getting a new heavy cruiser, the USS Portland C833. I'm not sure what all those numbers mean. And like I always say, I don't know a lot about ships, but it looks like a beefy boy. Looks like a nice beefy boy. Ships is a very, very strange game mode to play uh, War Thunder Naval because it's, um, it's hit or miss. You know, it's fun when they're naval offense and you see a lot more people play but other than that it's uh yeah it's a pretty dead game mode uh, so yeah the uss portland for all those navy fans uh you might enjoy this one look at all these uh what are these 20 mils <laughs> that's pretty funny but yeah let's move on to germany germany is getting a fast boy as well um let me check the top speed before i call it fast oh yeah 100 kilometers per hour nice fast boy the turret looks like a Leopard 2K turret, but it's a bit different. Also, it doesn't have the 20 mil on top. Now, of course, this is a wheeled tank destroyer. Nope, it's a light tank, so, you know, no armor at all. Uh, you got a little bit of armor, 29, 38, oof, 33-ish, and 38. Yeah, so armor-wise, it's not that great. Oh, you do have some spaced armor. Okay, that might help a little bit against uh, machine gun fire yeah but that's the only thing maybe 20 mils as well uh but yeah this is the rad camp wagon uh, 90 it is a battle rating 9.0 and it looks cool though it looks it looks like a race car <laughs> kind of uh, let's see what kind of rounds it has because i saw some pretty pretty penetrating rounds it has access to a dm33 which has a penetrating value of 408 at point blank range you also get the tm12 the dm502 and the DM23, which is nice. It also has the night vision, so that's cool. Smoke, man, this thing has everything. Uh, should be a fun vehicle. Should be a very fun vehicle. 
Moving on, we have the Junkard 188A2. Um, yeah, not much to say about this thing. It's just a bomber at 5.3. Germany has so many bombers already. I'm not sure if anybody is requesting all these bombers because there's already a ton. But yeah, it has a nice loadout. Not the best, you know, 1800 and 1000. So, uh, this one is even worse. This one is okay ish. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like the loadout, but you know, at 5.3. I much rather just take the uh, the HE one seven seven, just end the game quickly. Five three as well, just yeah. Uh, but anyways, the Germans are also getting a light cruiser, the Leipzig. Hope I pronounced that right. And uh, yeah, looks like a pretty fun vehicle. It has uh, two big main turrets. Does it have secondary armor, anti-air cannon, eight point eight centimeters? Yeah, it has decent anti-air capabilities, so uh, should be a good vehicle. I don't see any torpedoes, unfortunately. Those things also always help out. But yeah, again, don't know a lot about chips. Just showing you guys. Next up, Russia is getting a new beefed-up T-72B, which is a freaking brick house. Got a lot more bricks on it this time. And I believe this is Contact 5 ERE, which is a little bit better or a lot better than the Contact 1 ERE. Uh, should be similar to the T-72 that we already have, but a little bit more protection. I believe what they said on the stream is that the Contact 1 ERE is good against heat, but the Contact 5 is pretty much good against most rounds gonna, that are going to hit your tank. So it might stop the kinetic energy for EPF SDS shells and stuff like that, but I'm not sure on that. Uh, next up, oh wait, 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 let me just show you guys the rounds. Uh, we got the 3BM, three, three wow, it's a lot of penetration. And we got, the, oh, that's even more penetration. 3BM24, 42M. <laughs> penetration got me shook. Uh, the heat has a uh, high penetration as well. We got the legendary heat round and it has damn, that's some good penetration and uh, ATGM as well. These Russian tanks are always a lot of fun to play and it does not have a lot of rank 1 and rank 2 and rank 4 upgrades. Usually we have like adjustment of fire and stuff like that, but they're all moved over here. Huh, interesting. But yeah, this one's going to be a good addition to add to the T-72 lineup if you like to run that. Next up, we got a whole bunch of helicopters. We got the KA-29, aka the fat, or the nimble fat boy or something. That's what they call them. It looks kind of cool though. It looks really cool. Uh, top speed is not that great. I wonder what that will be like once it's upgraded. Let me just quickly check that out. Maybe around 400-ish kilometers per hour. It also gets access to uh, 80 gems, which have a max range of five kilometers, which is not that bad. It means you can shoot down stuff that's pretty far away uh, out of your range, unless they get EDATs. Uh, yeah, I did all the upgrades, right, for the engine. So, oh, 291, yeah, that's not too great. But you do get access to some other stuff. I don't think this is real like attack helicopter stuff. You get the 9M114, five kilometer firing range, maximum speed, 400 meters per second. So that's not too bad. You get eight of them as well. So, you know, you can go to town. It also gets access to flares um, on uh, what's it called? The um, exhaust shield flares, IC, IRCM. And uh, it also has a 30 millimeter cannon, which is on the side somewhere once you get it. Uh, let me just use the x-ray. Oh, you need to install. You need to research it first. Ah, got it. By default, it comes with, let me just check, with rockets. You, yeah, not too bad. 80 rockets. That's not too bad at all. Let's just get these. Put them on our plane our helicopter yeah not bad not bad next up we have the ka-50s big brother the ka-52 and just look at all these armaments mini rockets air to ground missile air to air missiles so now everybody has access to annoy people uh at the start of the battle but the premium one's still pretty annoying because you can just buy it and just annoy people 
but I don't know. I like this helicopter. It's pretty sexy. I don't use it a lot. The K50 do have it, but I don't use it a lot because I don't really agree with the play style of it. Um, but yeah, this one's this one's gonna be fun too for those who enjoy it. Uh, as you guys can see, a ton of options of uh, the secondary armaments. Does this one? Yep, it has a 30 mil as well. So I got the more expensive one, uh, which has uh, four air to air missiles, 12 air to ground missiles and 40 rockets. But you can add bombs. Um, you can add different types of rockets. Yeah, you can add a lot of stuff. This thing is going to be the other one. The K50 is already pretty annoying to deal with. So yeah, this one's going to be insane as well. But yeah, let's move on to the next vehicle, the Zverdlov. Not sure how you pronounce that. Also, it looks like a beefy boy for 152 millimeter cannons. God dang. Yeah, you don't want to mess with this boy. Got torpedoes, secondary armaments, one six 100 millimeter cannons. Jesus, this one looks good. This one looks like a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to Britain. Britain got some cool stuff. They got a premium Rukiat or Roy Cat. Um, I haven't played this vehicle yet. I haven't really been active on War Thunder, um, but everybody says it's good and the premium one should be good as well, I think. I'm not really sure how it handles yet. So, uh, but you know, looks good. It's at bar rating 8.7 and I'm not sure what the price is gonna be. Bar rating 8.7, yep. And the other one is at 8.7 as well. No, but it's at 8.3. So if you want to, if you really like the the Roy Cat, you can just run both of them and have a blast. Next up, the British get the uh, Electric Lightning F6. A lot of people were hyped up in the chat for this one. I'm not sure why. Looks like a really fat plane, um, but it should be fun. Look, look, goes super fast. So uh, this is the British top tier jet now. It's very interesting mounting point for the missiles. These are air to air missiles, red top twos, which have a max G load of 16 Gs. And the other one, the fire streak has 13 Gs. So yeah, it's a pretty insane missile. 30 mil cannons. I believe usually the top two jets don't have a lot of uh, ammunition for their cannons. Where is the cannon by the way? Oh, down below. That's a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot. So yeah. This one looks like a fun vehicle as well. 16K repair cost. Oh, I forgot to look at the repair cost for the other things. Let me just quickly check. Oh, that's arcade. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's unrealistic. This one is tank arcade. Let's check tank realistic. 8K, 5K. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah. Um, the British are also getting the HMS Kent 54, which is a battery 5.7. Is this a light cruiser? It's a heavy cruiser. Heavy cruiser. Four big boy cannons. Um, I do see some. It's a loud bike passing my house. Some four inch Q off Mark IV cannons. Are these? doesn't look like it has a ton of anti-air capabilities. I do see some guns, but I'm not sure if they're going to be really effective. Maybe, maybe. Um, but yeah, let's move on to Japan. Japan is also getting an F4EJ, which is the same one as the American one, the F4E. But this one just has a J for Japan with the 30 millimeter cannon in the front. Same mod, same everything. Let me just double check before I say stupid stuff. Looks like similar mods, yes. Yep, should be the same. Uh, yeah, so pretty much the same as the American one. So Japan finally has a supersonic, well, a second supersonic jet that reaches way more or way higher top speed. I haven't flown these yet ever. Should really start researching it. Uh, but yeah, looks cool. The skin is not the most exciting and we don't get any other ones. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, Japan is also getting a very, very interesting looking ship. This, I think this is the first ship I've seen with such a cool camo. Uh, this is a battery rating 5.7 with, is this a heavy, a light cruiser with a bunch of, uh, bunch of secondary and primary armament. Ooh, got five freaking big boy cannons. 
Mm. I should really get into top tier ships more. I just think it's a little bit too slow for my taste, but it looks interesting though. No torpedoes, uh, good anti-air capabilities because uh, I see a lot of stuff here in the middle. <laughs> but yeah, let's move on to China. China did not get a lot. They got a F100 variant, the F100A, which has uh, pretty decent armament. You can carry four nine aim nine bs i believe let me just double check that yep aim nine bs you can also carry bulb bulbs and some bombs that's it um should be similar to the ones that the americans have but i believe the american one has a lot more secondary armament options f100d nope actually it looks pretty much the same but they do get access to the aim nine es and the chinese one does not uh, moving on to France because Italy did not get anything this update. France got one new vehicle that is new and the rest is just copy paste. So uh, this one's copy paste from the British. This one's copy paste from the Americans. This one's copy paste from the Americans as well. It's the M4A3 with the 105 millimeter howitzer cannon. Uh, should be fun. You know, good stuff, good stuff. But the new vehicle is the AMX 32, which has a 120 millimeter, 120 millimeter cannon. Uh, looks similar to the other AM Maxis. I haven't really played AM Maxis yet, so I don't really know how they perform. I, a lot of people say they suck. So, uh, yeah, looking at this armor, it does not have too much armor. So at battery rating 9.3, yeah, you don't you really can't rely on your armor. It does have some space armor, but that's look at the size of this breach. Jesus. Oh, it has a 20 mil cannon. Nice. So that's good so that's good it's gonna be a fun vehicle i think i should really 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 start researching more uh, vehicles from other tech trees uh, but yeah let's move on to sweden now like i mentioned in the beginning sweden already had an aircraft tech tree and this is the only new aircraft added to the game a lot of people are hyped up for this one because it's gonna be a beast um they i believe they said it was supersonic um Looking at the top speed, I'm not sure if it will be. I might be I might be wrong on that, but they did say it has the fastest climb rate of any vehicle or our aircraft in the game right now. So that's going to be insane. It does look beautiful. It has a very good uh, turn radius. I wish the uh, the British, what's it called? The British uh, jet had similar handling to this one. The, uh, the javelin because you know javelin looks cool as well but yeah sweden's getting a very oh yeah this is a <laughs> hope you guys are ready for this fully spaded this vehicle's repair cost is seventy two thousand <laughs> silver lines <laughs> oh boy oh boy one mistake one ripped wing and seventy two thousand silver lines down the drain so yeah that kind of sucks hopefully they'll adjust it a little bit in the future uh, this one's pretty cheap if repair costs. Let's check. Full, very cheap. And cheap as well. But yeah, uh, that is it for the new vehicles coming in update 1.97. I'll do a separate video for the Swedish ground forces because there are a lot. I did not want to make this video super long. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next one that will be uploaded a little bit later, maybe in a few hours. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.